Greg Caggiano here from Ghosts on the Coast. We are in the Lenape room of Strauss Mansion, which is up on the third floor. And the reason why we're here is we just launched our YouTube page today. And we wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what you can expect, a little preview of what our video series is going to be like. Now, if you've watched anything that I've been involved with in the past, you kind of have an idea. But we're always looking for new things here on Ghosts on the Coast. And what we have here is a device that we found in storage of Strauss Mansion just a couple of months ago. Now, what this is, you can find these in the store from time to time, although I haven't really seen one. It's an energy device used in one of our gags for uh, our old haunted house thing. I think it was back in the 80s or 90s. We have had this thing. And you just touch it, and it sends uh, you know, bolts of electricity to your fingers. It's completely harmless, as you can see. However, the generator that powers this thing throws off a lot of electricity. And we have found that when we tested this thing out, it actually changes the electromagnetic field of the entire room if we leave it on long enough. Now, if you know anything about ghost hunting, you know that uh, spirits can feed off of electricity and they use it to manifest. And sometimes if you don't have enough energy either in yourself or in the electronic devices that you bring, you might not get anything or you might get uh, s some weaker evidence. They don't have enough strength to manifest. This thing here, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Again, it's perfectly harmless. But we have our EMF detector, just to give you an example. Right here, okay, this is baseline. 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Uh, it goes anywhere from 0.3 up to 1. Nothing really uh, too crazy. Uh, nothing to get excited about. However, when we put it up to the generator itself, it's going up to almost hit 100. And it's there. It's up at 90, 91, 89. We find that the longer we leave it there, it doesn't really go below 60. Usually stays above. Right over here, okay, it's a little bit lower, but still, I mean, that's a pretty good reading. But again, the whole idea here is, is that we leave this thing on and you let it run long enough, it changes the electromagnetic field of the room and it actually makes it easier for the ghost to manifest. Now, we, we have never used this on an actual investigation, but we have sampled uh, it a couple times uh, in the last few months. And each time we got decent evidence, a little bit more active than we normally would. We ran a spirit box while doing this. We got pretty good, clear responses. And it just, if it's on long enough, it's hard to explain. It kind of just changes the energy field of the whole room. Now again, it's perfectly harmless. I'm going to touch it again there. Um, this is just, you know, a kind of gag that we use. I, I think during the haunted house thing, you know, somebody holding it and pretending to get electrocuted just to scare people or whatnot. But it's all in this generator here that it throws off such electricity and such energy that it won't let the ghosts use that and manifest themselves. Now, it, it, it's kind of funny that we, you know, we've been staring at this thing in storage for, I've been here about two years looking at it, never plugged it on, and finally one day we figured, let's just plug it in and see what happens. And we thought it was just pretty cool. Let's say it has nothing to do with paranormal. I mean, this thing is awesome. It's shooting out bolts of electricity here. The generator is pretty quiet, which is important for investigations. I don't know if you can hear it right now. It's just a very low hum. Like that. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. But... We did a couple spirit box sessions. We, we did a couple things in the room. We've only done it in this room. And we were pleased with what we found. Now, we have a public investigation coming up on June 27th. Currently, it is, it is sold out. But if there is enough demand, we will add a second night. You can check that out on our website, facebook.com slash ghostsonthecoastnj. We'll be posting a second date if there is a need for one. And also on the Atlantic Highlands website, ahhistory.org. So once again, just a preview of what you can expect. We're always looking for ways to get creative. Ghost hunting equipment is a lot of money. It's difficult sometimes to be able to afford the devices that we want. So we gotta get creative. We gotta look and find new ways to investigate, new ways to collect evidence. And this thing was just staring right at us. It was so cool, so we started experimenting with it. And we will premiere our first investigation with this device in June. You can check it out. Uh, again, on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. This year, just a sneak preview of what you can expect. Greg Caggiano here from Ghosts on the Coast at Strauss Mansion, and we will see you next time.